<laughs> oh, hey, you know where that saying comes from? They know, well, come to church on Sunday with me, uh, and I'll tell you. And uh, so it's a way to kind of initiate the conversation about the Lord. Okay, anybody else got a different version of, of that? Uh, what Do you have NID there, or New American Standard, or what, what on your Bible there? King James, King James. I didn't hear enough of these and thousands. But okay. All right. Anything? Anybody else got another version? Want to share? No. Okay. You're shy. Okay. Here we go. You know what? It's a sign of the times. It's a sign of the times. A lot of problems going on. Well, oh, you got one. Did you want to share? You go ahead. Go ahead and share. Is this Ecclesiastes? Yeah. Okay. And I can enjoy. For man has no good thing under the sun, but to eat, drink, and be joyful. This will go with him and his toil through the days of his life that God has given him under the sun. Amen. Amen. And as a God, everything that we own under the sun, from <coughs> from this computer to our cars, it all belongs to God. It's, it's, it's all it's all God's, and He lets us use it. Some He blesses uh, uh, in some ways. I used to be in technology sales for since 1900 and none of your business. I'm so old. <laughs> and, uh, uh, when I was doing that, I was blessed to make a lot of money. You know, I was, uh, got, got to take Rebecca to Hawaii and Bermuda, Mexico, and Vienna, Austria. I won all these trips and, you know, thought I had some joy, but then, then I kept feeling this pat on the shoulder. You know, when you get the pat on the shoulder and God says, I got something bigger for you. Bigger than Vienna, Austria, or Hawaii. Lord, okay, I say yes, yes. So I said yes, and now, now going to Wendy's on a Thursday night is a great thing. That's impressive. So, if anybody has any Wendy's gift coupons, you can give them to us afterwards. Okay, but it's a sign of the times that the economy has changed. It's a sign of the times that our nation is turning away from God like it should be from the very foundation. It's a sign of the times. Where does that come from? Hold on, Matthew 16.3. Anybody got Matthew 16.3? While you're looking for that, does anybody have an umbrella in here today? Probably not, it's not raining. You got an umbrella, could I borrow it? God sent you here today with your umbrella. <laughs> Did you ever see that movie, Oh God, where that one, that one, the old movie, Oh God, where that one minister says, God! Send you to me. No, I'm not going to keep it. I'm going to blow it up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can never figure these out. Got to be smarter than the umbrella. Okay, has anybody got that? Matthew 16:3. Yes, ma'am. Go ahead. sometimes can't see what's going on. Has anybody else got a different version they want to share? Okay, go ahead. Do a great with that King James version. Well, in the law that preaches the gospel. Okay, that's right. Okay, okay and, the, and in the morning it will be foul weather today, for the sky is red and glory. Ye the hypocrite, right? Hypocrite, yeah. What? No, go ahead, I'm sorry. But it isn't just about the wounds that, that we might be feeling as a, in a marriage or what we know our children are damaged. But we have to see the sign of the times that as a nation, if we don't address what's going on in different areas, and this church is so great, look at the Hope Network. Anybody involved here in the Hope Network? Great, great thing. We're trying to change. We're trying to be nation changers or city changers. And if we don't change the next generation, because you have a whole generation of children that are growing up in these broken homes, and if they don't have the foundation of the Lord God Almighty, then what's going to happen is they're going to recycle this brokenness and soon where the sign of the times is not going to be one that is 
marriage. Okay. You ever hear the saying, no problem? I got you covered. I got you covered. Right? You ever hear that? No problem. I got you covered. Okay. This was just as breaking news. This is, I didn't find this on the internet. I just discovered this in our Sunday school class last week. A guy named Paul, uh, we were studying uh, Psalm 121, and uh, he read Psalm 21.5. Anybody want to read Psalm 121.5? Anybody saw Psalm 121.5? Okay, go ahead. The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. No, oh, wrong one. Yeah, that, that's 5 and 6. Yeah, yeah, but the 5 was, the Lord watches over you the right, your right hand with shade. The Lord is your shade. The Lord is your shade. Do you know the Lord's got you covered? Do you, you feel like the Lord's got you covered? Boy, he has he so got me covered because I'm such a knucklehead. Okay, does the Lord have you covered? By the right, amen. Okay, anybody need to be covered? I'll pray for you. We'll do that at the end. But but if you, next time you see an umbrella, you can smile and you can say, you know, that's Psalm 121.5. The Lord uh, provides a shade.